Hey everybody, it's Andrew Brown from the AWS Cloud Project Bootcamp uh, coming back here to finish off the code build. So uh, after the live stream, Baco went and investigated and found out several issues uh, with what we were doing with code build. Uh, some actually were quite obvious, I should have known better, and other ones uh, I guess we just overlooked. Well, let's take a look and go back to our AWS account and see what changes Baco made in order to get the deploy to work. So the first thing that he did was that when we set up our project here, I'm gonna to go to CA Central, is that um, we uh, uh, selected a VPC. Now we don't have to put in a VPC. Um, and the issue was we put in a VPC and then we chose uh, like subnet. So I'm gonna see if I can find where that option is. Uh, I'm just gonna take a look here. Let me just see where it could be, source, probably environment. Um, yeah, and so here we had chose a VPC. We don't have to put it in a VPC. Uh, and if we do, uh, we were placing it in, a, in all these private subnets. So there was no way for um, it to communicate out to um, ECR because it didn't have any internet connectivity. Um, there are cases where you want to place your code build into a VPC. We do not want to do that. So make sure you go to the environment settings and uh, remove the VPC settings. And that is one thing that will fix our issue. And while that is going, I'm just gonna make sure um, our Gitpod environment is working. So I'm just gonna launch it back up here so we can get back into shape. Um, another thing was in our code build, we had Docker version 19. Um, and you saw in the video stream, I was trying to find what the latest version was and I couldn't find it. Uh, Baco said that it aired out um, and it wanted it to be version 20. So that is actually a very easy fix. We'll just have to switch that to version 20, which um, has been done in the build spec file. I'm just waiting for it to uh, spin up here. I guess while we're waiting, we can always just go over to uh, my application and just see the commits. So if we go over to the commit history here, um, into week nine again. Uh, week nine again, that's what week we're on, right? I don't see it here. Uh, maybe Baco committed on the prod, so it's not necessarily on our week nine again branch. Yeah, so he went in here and um, he updated it to Docker 20. Uh, this has nothing to do th there, so that is one thing. We'll go through here and take a look at some other things. Um, he was saying that we did not correctly set the default region or we forgot to set this value, so that was set there. Um, and the other thing that he said is that these were a problem. So like, um, I guess when it was trying to, like because we were setting this, it was actually setting this in the build environment. Because remember the build environment is technically like a container virtual machine thing. And it will load those end bars and use those. And this did not have permissions to grab the repo. Um, so that's another thing, but the most blurring thing, and he didn't point this out or notice this, but this is something that I noticed, uh, was that the fact that we put all those NVARs in there. So all these NVARs, if I go in here, and this build spec YAML, we don't need them in here. You know why? Because if we go to our build step, into our, um, our bin directory, into our backend, into our, um, build, we're not passing anything into it. So we just need whatever we need for building and we don't need any of this because this stuff gets passed at runtime. So, you know, during live streams, when we're managing, we have multiple guest instructors, sometimes I'm not thinking things uh, through. And so it's a lot more clear when I'm just looking at it myself. I'm sure it's like that for you as well. So all this stuff, we don't need any of this in here. Now we would need some of this stuff if we were doing the front end one, because if we go to the front end application, which is um, over here, into our build step. Notice that we are passing these along, but we don't need to pass anything along here. So all of most, or most of this stuff can go away. Uh, we do need the container name, so that needs to stay. We need the image URL. So that needs to stay. We need the repo name. So that needs to stay. But all this other stuff here, these are going bye-bye. So that's fixed. And then I'll go here and update my version to 20. Um, and so I'll go ahead and just, we'll say uh, fix, fix the build spec YAML to work correctly. Okay, uh, we'll do that. We're gonna get some merge requests is or, um, issues because Baco pushed right to prod. He didn't um, do pull requests, which is totally fine, I suppose. But, uh, and I don't know if we really changed anything there. We did not, so I'm just gonna unstage those changes and then discard those changes because it's just a blank line. 
But anyway, um, this is what it should look like, okay? So really, it's a lot simpler than uh, we were making it out to be. Um, the other thing is that he wasn't sure if we needed permissions for ECR. So I'm pretty sure ECR, like, or the uh, the code build should have access to ECR. Baco wasn't 100% confident, but what he did is he went into here, and if you notice on the left-hand side, there's permissions, and he added um, permissions for code build. Somewhere here, so we have an edit JSON policy. I'm gonna go here. I notice that he's adding uh, this code here. So I'm not 100% sure if we actually do need this. I guess we could remove it to find out. Um, but what I'm gonna do is just leave it in for a moment, and uh, then we'll deploy it. If it and if it works, that's great. Then we'll remove it and see if it still works, and just determine if we need it. And the other thing was Baco wasn't merging in. He was just uh, manually um, triggering it because obviously when you push, that doesn't uh, trigger it. But what we are going to do is we're going to do a pull request and we'll see if that triggers um, the uh, the build. So I'm going to go here to week nine, or sorry, prod. And then we'll go here to week nine. Again. And there isn't anything to compare. Well, sure there is, right? Are we not working in week nine? Yes, well, we gotta sync our changes, sorry. Um, and now if we go back over to here, we will give this a refresh. We'll try this again. So I'll go to pull requests. I will say new pull request. We will go here to prod. We will go over here to week nine. Again, sorry. And we'll create the pull request. Um, you know, fix our build spec YAML file. And I don't expect this to pass. There should be some conflicts, not a big deal. We'll resolve them. Um, and so you won't have this issue. It's just because, you know, Baker was pushing directly there. We'll mark this as resolved. We will commit those changes. Okay, and now we'll give it a moment here. We'll merge the pull request. We'll confirm it. We'll make our way back over to um, Elastic Container uh, uh, Code Build, Code Build. And we wanna see if this starts triggering now. We only really want to trigger on the uh, production uh, uh, pull request. So we'll have to do some testing here to make sure that it is only doing it then. Um, but here it's in progress. So I'm gonna go take a look at the history and see how long it took for Baco when it was succeeding. So it took about a minute and 22 seconds. That's reasonable because it is building a Docker image, so it has to pull down the Docker image, and there's a bit of work involved there. So we'll have to wait until this is done, or at least around two minutes. I'll see you back here in a moment, okay? All right, so after waiting a minute and 24 seconds here, I waited a little bit longer, but it only took this long, and you can see that it deployed successfully. So changing the version to Docker 20, you notice we didn't need to have any of those end bars, which we wasted a lot of time on stream doing that, but hey, uh, there are some things that we have to figure out. So here we can see our logs and this usually really helps to see what's happening. So let's see what we can see here. So we can see that it is setting the source directory here. It's going to load that build spec YAML. Um, and you can see that it does the log in here. And we were uh, putting these logs in our Docker build file or our build build here. So these echoes is what we're looking at here. Um, so we can go back over uh, here. And notice that we have like these backtick dates. Um, I wonder if that interprets the date there. Like I wrote that a long time ago, so I assume that's what that does. If we go here, um, where is this? It says uh, build started on. So we'll go back over to uh, here, build started on. And it does, it, it prints out the date here, so that's useful. Uh, I didn't know, I don't remember why that does that, I just know that it works. Um, so that is great. We can see we're doing our backend flask um, and is building it and pushing the image uh, there. I assume it's going to just push it to latest because that's what we chose. I suppose we could do versioning, like if we were to tag and only trigger on tag, um, then we could also have it tag the ECR image. Um, that could be something we might want to do. I'm not really worried about doing that right now. Um, but yeah, it seems to work here, no problem. Um, just see here, Slim Buster, so it does that. Uh, yep, just making sure. And run pip install. 
and then it's pushing. Okay, so I was just wondering if it was running twice. So yeah, that works exactly as expected. I want to uh, just rule out the ECR. If we don't have to have the um, ECR permissions, let's see if, what happens if I rip them out. So I'll go over to ECR. Because if there's less that we can do, that's always great. Um, we'll go to, or is it back in Flask? Into permissions. We'll go here and edit the JSON policy. I'm going to take this policy out because you don't have this policy, right? So for you, it might have not worked without this, but I want to find out if it works without it. So I'll go here and hit save. Um, it expects something, so I'm just going to do curlies here. Save. Um, it, oh, maybe we have to hit reset. Reset. There we go. Save. Great, and I'm gonna go back and attempt another deploy. Uh, I don't wanna lose out of this file, so what I'm gonna do here is just go over here and place this in somewhere. So I'm just gonna to go to, oof, does not matter really for me. Um, this will be somewhere, I'm just gonna say ECR permissions, JSON. And we'll paste that in here for now. Uh, we'll go back over to code build and we want to trigger a new deploy. Mm, we just really need to deploy it again. So I don't really want to push this code. I just want to trigger deploy. We'll go back over here, go to build projects, go here, and we will say start build. And I'll go ahead and build it again. I'll see you back here and we'll see if we run into a permissions issue, okay? All right, so it looks like it worked. Um, yeah, so it doesn't seem like we need those permissions at all. Um, and you probably found that it worked no problem. Yeah, so I guess that simplifies it. And so I don't actually need um, this file here. So I'll go ahead and delete it. There we go. And I'll just make sure all my changes are synced. But yeah, so that is the part for code build. I want to stop the video here just so that we can keep it isolate and then move on to uh, code pipeline. Okay, ciao.